The Promise is in theaters now. We've already heard from several of the actors and the director, but today's interview may be one of Jim Ferguson's favorite from this movie. Yeah, you know, we uh, these are two car uh, not real big roles yeah. in the film, but everybody came out of the interview with uh, <clears throat> both these actors have been nominated for an Oscar. Uh, James Cromwell for The Pig, uh -huh. Babe, do you remember? Yeah. Uh, he was nominated for Best Actor, and of course, uh, Shoray Angelou uh -huh. uh, was nominated for the House of Sand and Fog for Supporting Actress. Uh, and they're just wonderful to talk to. James Cromwell, he plays a real character that saved thousands of lives. He was, he was the American ambassador to Turkey in 1914. And uh, I had a great time talking to both wow. of these people. Well, I can't yeah. wait to see the interview then. Okay, Let's take, take a look. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful film. Um, I think we have an epic here. Uh, did you get the feel that it felt to me a little bit like some classics, Dr. Zhivago, Reds, mm -hmm. uh, this whole beautiful story told around a love story? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what they were going for. Yeah. Try to, yeah. you know, get it away from simply a, a documentary mm -hmm. and a polemic yes. and make yeah. it a narrative yeah. so that the audience could uh, identify with these people and experience so that the suffering of the Armenian people is, is something that uh, the audience then can relate mm -hmm. to. Uh, I thought both of your characters were extremely interesting. Uh, I think the ambassador at that time from the United States, your character, mm -hmm. uh, a film could have been made about him. Absolutely. He was an extraordinary man with a great deal of compassion and elegance and courage to stand up to, uh, to, stand up to them. Of course, he had a big country behind him, but we were not going to get involved, uh, mm -hmm. even though I'm sure Wilson wanted to be involved. I think the Republican Congress had no uh, no interest in it whatsoever. Which and, was a shame, yeah. And instead of just sort of backing away from it, as so often happens now, he did things on his own. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and you sa played And saved a lot of lives. Yeah. Yeah. And Shirai, your character represents, I'm sure, a lot of mothers uh, that went through that suffering and that terrible genocide. And uh, I like the mother-son relationship that you had with Oscar's character. That's right. It's, mothers are all the same, be it Armenians or Iranians or Americans. True mothers. And Marta is one of them. Mm -hmm. And she truly cares for, for her family, for her son. And I love their relationship because it's an open relationship between the two of them. Usually with Iranians, back in Iran, sons would uh, tend to talk to their fathers more than their mothers. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that in the Armenian culture, they're closer to their mothers. The mother, yeah. And the relationship between the two of them is just amazing. It's incredible that how they trust each other and how they're so open with each other and how much she loves him. And I think Oscar has a line where he says, I'm more like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he says that. He has a line in which he says, I'm more like my, my mother than my father. Absolutely, yes. You know what surprises me as a, as a, t a former high school history teacher is how f many Americans, how many people don't un never heard of this story, this terrible genocide that took place in 1914. It's true. Uh, but we don't know a whole lot about our own country. If you read the yeah. people's history of the United States, you'll see all the events that have happened in the course of American history that most people are uh, totally and completely ignorant mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and if you don't know your history, then you are determined you, you have to repeat it. Yes, well, you right. will repeat it. We will repeat it. And, uh, it. Isn't it interesting to both of you that how relevant this story is today? It's set in 1914, but it, it could be today. It, it, it speaks for today. Uh, every day when we shot those scenes in the mountains, Armenians fleeing on their feet, uh, trying to get out of their own country, uh, we saw, in the evenings, we saw uh, Syrians, Sudanese, Yemenis do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, wow, it's been almost 110 years now and it's still happening. Still happening People are yeah. still leaving their countries, but you, uh, you're absolutely right. Bringing it to public uh, attention, you know, globally, we're hoping that when people see it, they would st they would think yeah. of stopping it. They would think of doing something. So, what are we going to do Friday? We're going to talk to the best actress of the year, the Oscar winner, Emma Stone. Your girlfriend.
Well, <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, of course, from Phoenix, yeah. and a nice, beautiful young lady, and uh, she deserved the Oscar, too, yeah. for her performance in La La Land. But that's because uh, the DVD is coming it's out? It's coming out tomorrow, yes. nationwide, being released on DVD, Blu-ray tomorrow. And La 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 Land. They're doing that pretty quick now. They're doing, like, a movie's hot. They're trying to get the DVD out while the... Right, while well, it's still good. hot because it's still in theaters. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's right. interesting. Well, we'll hear from your uh, your girlfriend. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> For even more of Jim's celebrity interviews, visit tucsonmorningblend.com and then search for Hollywood happenings.